And that was the general chorus that okay. oh, we don't start too well. That was in 2006? That was in 2006. Okay. We, we won our second game against Senegal. And the third game, we lost against Zimbabwe. Mm. And then we were, we were sent back home. Um, just for starting as, as slow, slow as we decided mm. to start. Then in 2010, we started slow. Ivory Coast beat us by three goals to one. We got into the <laughs> final <laughs> in 2015. Um, Senegal beat us by one goal to zero. We started we, slow as well. We started slow. So we always start slow. We got, we got into the final. All I'm saying is that there's been good times when we've started slow, slow. and it's, it's worked out. Right. And there's been bad times when we've started slow and it worked out. So we can't just put all our... Uh, we can't just decide to say that, you know, we're we start, we are slow starters yeah. and so it's going to get yeah. better. Yeah. We need to look at the performance yesterday. And the performance yesterday just doesn't show off a side that inspires confidence in the next mm. level of games. If mm. you watch Gabon yesterday, it, it gets very difficult if you try to pitch the Black Star strength against the Gabonese. So I think that, you know, the Black Stars need to improve and they need to improve pretty, pretty fast because wow. things do not look yeah. really good. Yesterday, yeah. for mm. how compact we were in the game and the several chances that came our way, it's either we should have scored or we should have kept the line solid until the end and just kept it uh, and a, we a just zero, zero couldn't. draw. And we just couldn't. So it's, wow. it makes it really, really difficult. Now. Anyway, disheartening comments um, from Kawawa. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Let's take the highlights. I'm not too happy this morning about their performance, but let's take the highlights. Buffal then delivers hard and it's just over the top from Saiz. Well, Hasha Spore have tested positive for COVID. Ghana on the attack, but again, there's no support coming forward quickly enough. However, Morocco give it away, and the chances! Jiku with the long ball forward, it was speculative, really. And at the moment, I would say that uh, the other two sides will not fear what they've seen. Chance now, now! Oh, and there it is! The fear factor kicks in and Sofiane Bafal gets the opener inside the last eight minutes. Vaid Halahodzic is thrilled. They celebrate together. And the Orge man snaps into action. Referee blows for full time here in Yayun. <laughs> Not good, eh? Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's one of those things. But we'll, we'll see how we get through it. It's... Uh, uh, I mean, it's very painful to, to, <laughs> to lose like this, you know, because, I mean, the Black Stars probably thought that they, they had it. But, I mean, I think that the, the blame should all be placed at the doorstep of Milovan Raivat. Yesterday, he saw the defects of the team and decided to ignore it all the way until they have, the 80, they have scored. The 80-something minutes, exactly. yeah. And then you, you decide to bring... I think it was 86th minutes yeah. and he was doing, what, three substitutions? Three substitutions. What miracle was going to happen? Anyway... Let's just cross over. So our colleague, um, Kelvin Owusuaza, is all the way in Yawunde, Cameroon, on standby um, for us this morning. Yeah, but, uh, but oh. I, I mean, uh, Cookie, before, before we go to Cameroon, let's okay. just listen to Milovan Rivers okay. and what he had to say. After the we, match? Yeah, after the match. Okay. We didn't use our chances and I think Morocco team was a little bit luckier in the end uh, when we were expecting that the game is coming to a close, you know, this happens. And I want to congratulate to the Morocco team for the victory and I want to congratulate to my boys for fighting so hard. Still we have two matches, two additional matches in the group, so we have to concentrate on, on these matches now so we can progress from the group stage to the next stage. Uh, everything was pretty tight and you know the team was functioning well and I, I really felt we have everything under control. I have to analyze the goal we conceded you know so I can say more about you know because everything was going well so there was no need to to make some unnecessary changes because at, uh, up to the moment we conceded the goal we had the, uh, the full control uh, in the match. Okay, so that's Milo with no fiber. I don't know if that's still his name at the moment. Um, but, oh, yesterday I think I had a screenshot of something. But you speak to Kelvin. I'll try, yeah. I'll try and find it. Well, Somebody on Twitter was actually uh, was, was trying to place all the players we had yesterday. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's right here. He says, world-class players, Thomas Pate and Dede Ayu. Now, very good. You, you, you finished speaking to, 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 to Kelvin. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll get into that. Yeah. But 
Um, Kelvin, uh, good morning and welcome to New Day on TV3. Well, good morning, Yao, and um, uh, also welcome to the Amadou Ahijo Stadium here in Yaounde in Cameroon. How's it, how's it going? Well, yeah, it hasn't been a very good start for us. It's uh, very disappointing, but at least we have uh, the opportunity to play two more games. So at least for the Black Stars, uh, we just hope that things uh, will get better. Once it gets better, I think we all will feel good uh, with the fever of the AFCON here. It's just been brilliant here. The atmosphere, the people, all is set. You look at the stadium, the facilities, and clearly they really plan for this tournament. Kevin, I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering, what, what is the mood of the Ghanaian fans? I mean, yesterday you were at the stadium after the Black Stars lost. Did you pick up any, you know, disappointing faces? What did they tell you? Well, a, a lot of disappointment on the face of uh, the um, supporters of the Black Stars. Many who were present here uh, were not too happy. Yesterday, Rahim Ayu was about uh, 20 meters away from where I was sitting. And just after the game, together with a couple of um, um, uh, friends of Andrea Ayu and Jordan Ayu, they were just throwing their hands and you could see the reaction on their faces that they were not too happy with what was actually going on on the pitch. But after the game, a lot of the fans who were present here to support the team clearly showed displeasure with um, the performance. They were not happy. They were not impressed, especially with Milovan Rajevac and how long it took him to even make alterations to the team when clearly everyone witnessed that uh, there were a few uh, lapses that he had to correct just before Sofian Buffal gave us that sucker punch. Well, 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 also, um, for, for, the, for the Black Stars players themselves, you know, usually when the Black Stars lose, it's very difficult to get interviews. Was, was that a case yeah. yesterday <laughs> in the mix zone? It was clearly the case. They were just walking away. They walked away. I was at the press um, uh, conference uh, just before the players all uh, walked out of the dressing room. And just when we're about to uh, get into the captain, Andrea, you, he had just walked away, making just a statement that he wasn't happy. It was just an off statement to one of his friends uh, who was closer uh, to him, that he wasn't uh, really fit. And then he just had to make sure that they fight for the nation. All the players went away. They walked away. I met Kamal in Sulemana when he came to look for Dr. Baba Adams, who was in the stands watching the second game with, uh, that is coach Maxwell Knedu. And uh, I spoke to him and clearly he wasn't really happy, but he's very confident that going forward, they are going to get back um, uh, into their right moment and make sure that they capitalize on the very few opportunities that they had. Clearly, he was also not happy that uh, the team with what they uh, planned at the training grounds, it wasn't what turned uh, out here at uh, the Amadou Ahijo Stadium pitch, which uh, the game was played here yesterday. And he hopes that going forward, uh, those corrections will be made. He didn't sound too happy. You could see the reaction on his face. He's one guy who is always optimistic and always laughing, smiling. But yesterday it wasn't the case. It clearly showed that they weren't happy with what happened and hope that they would make things better in the next game. Let's let's talk about uh, Andre's injury, uh, the head injury that he, uh, yeah. you know, he he suffered in the game. What what is the updates? Has have you heard anything from the medical team? Is he ready enough to join the Black Stars to play on Friday? Well, yesterday, as I spoke to Kamal Dean, took that advantage to speak to Kamal Dean. When Dr. Babadam stepped off his seat, I spoke to him and he made it clear that Andre was fine. Once he was able to continue the game, he was very fine. They are going to have further uh, checks on him today to identify um, uh, where he's finding the difficulty. And then they would work on him to get uh, ready. But he doesn't doubt Andre being fit for the next game against Gabon. Now, uh, Kevin, finally, before you go, what, what is the Black Stars um, itinerary like from now up until they take on uh, Gabon in the, in the next group game on Friday? What's the itinerary like? What's, what's the training programs that um, Milovan Rajivac has arranged for the team from now up until they, they, they play the next game? Well, they're extremely tight-lipped, and you look at um, uh, uh, the team, and yesterday we were trying to speak to the media officer, Henry Asante Chum, but he wasn't giving us any uh, clear uh, notes on what is actually going to happen in the next couple of days. But we expect them to have their recovery session at the um, annex, Ahmad Dwahidu Stadium annex, which is just about um, uh, 20 meters away from the main facility. So we expect them to be here. We are present here waiting if we can have any glimpse or, or, of them or any of the other teams, that is the Gabonese team or the Moroccan team, who also have the opportunity to train here. But for now, we have no idea what they are going to do. But clearly, they should have their recovery session 
today here at the Amadwa Ahido Stadium Annex. Kelvin, thank you very much for speaking to us this morning here on New Day. Well, yeah, well, thank you so much. Uh, but we also need to appreciate uh, Global Wings Travel and Tours. They right. um, helped myself and my colleagues, Daniel Nanakwami and my camera technician, uh, Joshua Nashpogo, to be present here to bring uh, the very best uh, of uh, um, the scenes, the sights, the sounds, and every bit of interviews and then uh, the exclusives. Uh, here, but don't 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 worry. There is a lot coming up. Uh, yesterday we had to chance on the Gabon team at their hotel. They were they were in jubilant mood, and we 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 we, we had we had to just chance on them after their victory yesterday. They are very very confident that the Black Stars team they saw yesterday here at the stadium they would be able to be there. But hopefully, on uh, that is Afcon today at eleven. Would be given uh, bits uh, of uh, those sound bites and then reactions from the Gabon Gabonese team and their fans uh, to our cherished viewers. All right. Thank you so much, Kelvin. And uh, we'll see you again uh, in just about an hour or two when AFCON today begins. You're always welcome. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I, 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 I'm a little worried. Yeah. You know, I was reading a little bit on Didi Ayu yesterday, mm -hmm. and that's when he actually confessed that two days before yeah. our match yesterday, he wasn't feeling well. Yeah. And he's still not feeling well, but he decided to play because the team needed him. Yeah. He wanted to play because yeah. he's been preparing and waiting for this for the last three years. Mm -hmm. Now, with the head injury, I wonder what's going to happen on Friday. Because yeah. already he's not feeling well, right. and now he suffered a head, a head injury. Yeah. So I'm just thinking what his position would be, or his disposition would be by Friday. I mean, but... It, it, it worries me. I mean, per what um, uh, Kelvin has told us, uh, mm. he seems to be fine. Mm. I mean, Dr. Babadam's, you know, able... You know, Doc, who right. knows his job really mm, well uh, mm, with the Black mm, Stars. And mm, so, mm. if Dr. Babadams has said he's fine, yeah. he's probably yeah. uh, fine with the head injury, right. I mean. But, I mean, what what he told the press after the game mm. about about his uh, health mm. was mm. Was, un, was unknown to many, yeah. many of us. He I didn't mean, we, mention exactly. We didn't know we, about we all, it. We all didn't know but about maybe it. he so was just tight lipped about really. it, yeah, because he, he just wanted to go all out for Ghana. No, Cookie, I mean, the best players want to play in the best matches. Right. And, you know, right. a, a best game doesn't come. Um, bigger yeah, than than, this one. than a Ghana Morocco yeah, game, so I'm yeah. sure, you know, that also informed his yeah, decision yeah, to decide to yeah, play in that game. But yeah. I think that going forward, you know, the the coaches, right. the the medical staff, mm. they need to have proper conversations with with these players, exactly, one on one conversations, exactly. knowing that yeah. are you well? Can you play? Yeah. There has to be that level there has of to be something. You know, conversation. I don't so know that, what is so I don't know, know what it is that's missing yeah. in in the Black Star squad that we have um, um, currently. Yeah. But yesterday, Michael Asian was trending on Twitter. Mm -hmm. This morning as well, Asamwajan is trending and is still trending. And I'm yeah. going to read a few tweets mm -hmm. off um, Twitter. Now, um, one user called Nana Kofi says, it will take Ghana like 50 years to replace Asamwajan. Next time when you hear Asamwajan, add some respect. Elvis says, we all miss Asamwajan one way or another. Now, Dadon says, Asamwajan should leave the studio. That was yesterday when he, he was um, yeah, um, in, in the discussion. Yes, with the discussion, going on with the discussion. He should leave the studio and go to the dressing room for a jesse because Charlie, this one there and this one says um daban says asamajan was everything i rest my case asamajan would have scored if he was in this match he also says asamajan representing ghana well on super sports so many people are actually saying that if there were the likes of steven apia asamajan um um, um acn and muntari in this current squad, they would have scored yesterday. We need to move on. We need to move on as from Ghanaians. that face, yeah, right? We need to move on as Ghanaians. I feel like um, it's. Uh, it, it's, it's it also because I mean, yeah, it's also because we really haven't had the perfect crop of players to take us to the promised land after Cookie. Asamoah and after Stephen Apia and Michael Essien. Cookie, I mean, the, you, we had Stephen Apia, we had Michael Essien, we had. We had all those players and we still and, didn't, and we still didn't win. So, so I feel like we, we just need to move on from, mm, you know, mm. it's, it's an era. Right. It ended. Mm. Let's just move on from it. I mean, mm. Ivory Coast have moved on from Drogba and Yaya and yeah. everybody. Yeah. England have moved on from Lampard, Gerard, and all those guys. It is an era. Mm. That era ended. It's gone. Let's just move on mm. and, and move on to another era. I think mm. what Asamojan did for himself right. is the best thing he could have done. Mm. As a hero, you leave when the applause is it's, loud. It is loud. Unless, uh, I, I mean... Uh, 
if you do not leave when the applause is loud, at some point, you become a villain. Exactly. And Asamoah left the stage when the applause was, was at his, was at his was loudest peak. peak. Yeah. And I feel like that's what we need to appreciate mm. him for. The mm. guy scored 50 goals for mm. us. Mm. Incredible amount of goals. Mm. I don't think there would be there would be anybody or any striker in the next 10, 15 years who, who, can replace who could come in and replicate Asamoah mm. form. Mm. And so mm. we need to give him respect mm. for that. Mm. But also we need to move on from mm. that Asamoah era yeah. and look at what we can do mm. now that we Accept have these what kind of is and Ex then exactly. just, just and, see and, what and we so can that's do. The, because the thing is, I mean, every time we lose, right. we go back and say, oh, Asamoah if Muntari was here, Asamoah 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 was here. But... You know, those it guys have done their bits. We yeah. give them all the massive respect. Mm, mm. But we need to also try to support these guys mm. so they become the next Asamoah mm. the next Muntaris, mm. and, and those players that we want to see. Because, because Steven Appiah started really young. Mm. In 1996, nobody would have called Steven Appiah you know, as one of the top players. Right. But over time mm. and with support, yeah. he became one of our top players. Mm. And that's mm. what we need to do with this young crop. Okay. But I think it's just hard to support these. <laughs> anyway, I'll just leave it there. I mean, yesterday, I mean, in true Ghanaian fashion, we're all rallying behind them. You saw yep. people yep. with their Ghana jerseys, the flag. Mm -hmm. um, some used it to tie their heads and yeah. all that. But anyway, it no, ain't it, happening. It, 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 it's, it's like that. You know, okay. it, it's like that. Let's, let's just, right. let's just, let's just. No Let's just move on from that and then and then and then just move on to other things. Okay. You know. But uh, moving on to other things though. Let's just check out the results of yesterday's matches. Uh, Senegal took on Zimbabwe. They beat them by one goal to zero. Guinea also beat Malawi by one goal to zero. Morocco beat Ghana one one zero. And Gabon also beat Comoros by one. It was a one zero day. Yesterday was a one zero day. It was a one zero day. A bad day for betting fanatics really <laughs> because it was just one zeros all across. But, I see. But but, but that's how. That's how the game went. And then let's just check out how the table looks. And Gabon on top with three points. Morocco on top as well with three points. Comoros and then Ghana uh, at the bottom with mm. zero points mm. each to their names. Mm. Um, let's just check out also today's fixtures. But there's a really big fixture that's coming on today. Which is which Nigeria one? taking on Egypt. Oh, wow. And it's, that's it's, huge. It's two teams with a lot of pedigree on the yeah. African continent. Yeah. Egypt have won the competition seven times. Ooh. Nigeria three times. Wow. It's going to be a really big game. If you what compare, time is that? It's at 4 p.m. Mm. If you compare the players that both teams have... Mm. You know, you you could play some premium on, on that game that is going to be a really, really good game. And Fantastic. I'm actually looking forward to that game, really. Fantastic. Because, I am and, too. You know, Egypt do not joke when... Who's it, your when, money on? It's hard. It's hard to choose. I mean, it's. it's I'll really... go for. I'll go for my next door brothers. That's Nigeria. Nigeria or more Nigeria. Nigeria no the carry less. Yeah. So I throw my weights behind the Nigerian team for this afternoon. Right. We'll, yes. we'll see how it goes. Call me them. Kemi this afternoon okay when i come back tomorrow morning my name will come back to cookie but for today <laughs> my name is kemi i'm from um Suru Larry, number 15 buddy thomas that's my house yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's about it yeah, that's just about in it. the world of sports and everything pertaining to afcon there's more to come right here on tv3 new day we'll be right back <laughs>